You know, I've said it before, but this time I am serious, guys. The ME262 is the best mod I've ever seen for BeamNG Drive. And I'm going to show you why. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the ME262, a mod by the guy who brought us the D-Series Technical, which if you don't know, was the first working machine gun in Beam NG Drive. Well, he has ramped it all the way up to 11 with this one, and he has provided us with heat-seeking missiles. Yes, that is correct. The first working heat-seeking missiles uh, I've ever seen for BMG Drive, and I am just so excited to try this thing out. So, yeah, this was actually a plane from the 40s, uh, apparently. I had never heard of it, actually, but uh, apparently it was one of the first to have the jet propulsion, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, there is a few uh, different configurations for this thing, if I can find it. There we go. And right now I have the A62 Swift, which is a modernized and kind of uh, science fiction version of it. But there is some more realistic options if you do well please. They all can have heat-seeking missiles applied to them. If we actually go ahead and go to the... Whoops, wrong. If we go ahead and go to the uh, tuning tab, we can actually choose which seats we want. And you can also choose if you want this to fly realistically or arcade. arcade and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the uh, simple flight mode just so we can actually hit some stuff with these missiles. But just so you know, they are there. And this gun does come equipped with a regular machine gun, as you get real cannons, I guess, because these things are absolutely massive. And if you see the uh, the controls over here, there's actually a lot of stuff that you can do. And you can also uh, countermeasure. So if you're getting chased by somebody in a dogfight, uh, it's, he almost has a setup for multiplayer. I know multiplayer is way over the horizon, but it is here. You can even drop a smoke screen, guys. Isn't that so awesome? Okay. So let's get this thing in the air, and I'm going to show you how this baby works. Well, actually, first, I'm just going to show you how it works before we get in the air, just so you guys kind of get an idea here. So we're just going to spawn up a, a normal, average Joe kind of car. So how about a Covette, just a beater, something that we're not going to miss. And we'll just spawn that up right here and leave it right in the runway for it's going to be our first victim with the ME262. So we're just going to we're just going to park that right there. And you can hear that noise. It is fully locked on now. So, if I'm actually going to slow this down so I can see this. We're going to push V, and you'll see a missile come flying out of the back. And here we go! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, guys. Oh, that is amazing. Let's shoot another one. Let's shoot all of them, actually. Oh, no. Are they going to catch up? Are they going to catch up? Yes, they're catching up. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta do that again. No, 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 no. Don't put that up. And here comes the, the, the Covet again. All right. Locked on. Boom! Fox 2! Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. Okay. So let's actually get this thing in the air for a second. Um, so I believe it is... Uh, where's the thrusters? I imagine it's probably T. Yes, it is. Okay. And the rudders are F and H and N. Makes sense to me. So let's get this thing lined up pretty straight here. Now, there is a recommended speed to get to. But uh, we're not going to pay attention to that right now. I'm just worried about getting this thing in the air safely. So, all right. Um, there we go. And we have taken flight, everybody. So let's go ahead and put those up. There we go, and we are flying now, boys. So let's see if we can actually get another lock on on this Covette. And we we probably won't even be able to see it, but our targeting system can. That's all that's important, guys. So wait for it. Fox 1! And it is already going towards the target. That is so cool! And did we hit? Did we hit? Yes, we did! Oh, that is so awesome. Let's shoot another one. There it goes. Just, just destroy that bitch. Oh, my God. That is so goddamn cool. I don't even know what to say. I did. This is something I did not expect to come out to for BeamNG for a long time. Because, like I've said in other plane videos, the, the, this game is not even made for planes specifically. But still, people make these absolute monsters. It's crazy. Now we have heat-seeking missiles in 
Beam in G. Okay, let's do a little bit of a crash test because supposedly this has pretty good uh, deformation and it has detailed uh, parts and everything. So let's just uh, crash straight into the uh, tower. Let's like try to clip our wing off here. So maybe we can. Oh no, shit, we missed. Okay, going into the uh, buildings then. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> As we explode into a fiery mess. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and respawn that. Yes, I know you're locked on, but I want a bigger target. So we're just gonna spawn up a nice little monster truck, and we're gonna we're gonna blast this guy this guy sky high from the sky. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know you got that target lock on, baby, but I want to be flying first. You know what I mean? Look at those engines, man. That is so cool looking. That the the uh, the blue fire that's how you know it's hot there it goes it lights up and i thought that mod the uh, the canadian plane the other day was awesome this is just on a whole nother level guys this is this is amazing and up we go there we go and we have taken flight it's just so effortless to fly when you're well, i mean when you're in the arcade mode i can imagine it's more of a, a simulator feeling when you're actually driving it uh with the realistic mode but yeah let's just whip this thing uh it's Excuse me. I got a little excited there. Let's just whip this thing around and uh, blow the fuck out of this monster truck, huh? Oh, it's got the lock on. It's got the lock on. Can I actually aim this thing? Oh, yes, you can. There's even a, there's even a uh, sight there, so I don't know where the monster truck is, but if I... Oh! Did I hit it? Or is that just cannons? I don't know. Okay, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. We need to get a good camera angle. There we go. All right, I don't know. I don't think I actually hit the... um monster truck but look at these cannons even if you run out of missiles you still have something that could absolutely obliterate somebody all right let's hang a right come on just pull it oh this thing doesn't break up as like i don't even i'm going like almost 400 miles an hour and this thing is still not breaking up okay let's get that lock on baby there we go all right so fox one oh no here it comes here it comes oh <laughs> yes Okay, okay, get back to the plane. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. This thing will fly steady, no problem. All right, so let's actually try moving target this time. So get that going. And here we go. And we need to do this fast before it actually um, crashes into the wall here. So let's uh, cut it. Come on, turn it. Turn it. I know you can go faster than that, man. Oh, I got to get that lock on quick, boy. Where is that monster truck anyway? There it goes. Oh, it's driving. Is it going to hit the moving target, though? Yes, it is! Oh, this thing is... <laughs> absolutely... I am speechless. Okay. This is like one of the first times playing this game. I'm absolutely speechless, guys. If you have this game, this is definitely a must. I know I say that a lot, but I am I am completely serious. This is the best mod I've ever seen for Beam and G Drive. Bar none. Look at this. Look at it go. I don't know if this thing actually has fuel that I can run out of. Okay, let's actually try to um let's try to land this thing. So we're gonna put the landing gear up. There we go. And let's slow this down. And I wonder if it can actually glide. So we need to slow down a lot. Oh, we need to slow down a lot. I didn't even look up what the brakes were, what the brake button was. Slowly. Slowly. Oh! Slowly! Okay, uh, what's the brakes? The brakes! Okay, it's P, it's P, it's P, it's P, it's... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, just whip it around. We'll try that again. I'm su I'm surprised my wheels didn't, didn't just shatter into a million pieces. Well, one of them did. Oh, no. Oh, no. We might be stalling. Okay, get it down. Get it down. Get it level. We might be okay here. Oh, yes. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. There we go. All right, brakes, 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 brakes. Use those brakes, boy! Come on! Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. This is, uh... This is not good. It's actually holding together pretty damn well. This thing is sturdy, man! Compared to all the other planes, I would say we got out pretty easy there. And you also, if you don't want to, for whatever reason, want to use the uh, heat-seeking missile, you can actually change the operating mode. And you, and you can just plain old shoot, it, shoot this thing if you wanted to. Whoops. <laughs> it's just going off into the distance. Oh, that is so fucking cool.
One shot from the missiles and this is what happens to the monster truck. Okay, so let's try something a little bit more uh, Explosive, how about we try another plane? Huh? We have that B20 or B25 Mitchell here just laying here So why the hell not and we're gonna load this thing up with a lot of explosives as well So it'll go boom boom. Okay, so we're gonna do four 500 pound bombs here So there we go. So this thing is highly volatile right now so let's get this beast up in the air, and we're just gonna we're just gonna blast it away. All right, just fly around it. That is our enemy. We will be taking him out in just a second. But for now, let's just worry about getting airborne. There we go. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and whip this thing around, and then uh, just absolutely annihilate the B-25 Mitchell. The B-25 Mitchell, I would say would be official has been officially dethroned by this thing because I don't know the B25 is an absolutely gorgeous mod and I don't want to undermine it at all but this this is an absolute innovation in BMG drive that is for sure and when this guy was a an innovator from the start he made the first working machine gun so dude sto sto Muldoon you are absolutely amazing sorry if I messed up your name but you are you're a legend sir all right, let's get that lock on. Let's go first person this time. Give me that lock on, boy. Oh, I hear it. And boom. Oh God, I want to see this in slow motion. So where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I think, I think I see it. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, no, I think I had the the uh, guided missiles turned off. No, as we crash into the desert floor, that is um, that is my bad. What work? Does it work at all? Yeah, it's working. There it goes up in flames. So I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again though. All right, take two. We got this, guys. Come on. All right, you got the lock. You got the lock. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, now it's going. Now it's working, baby. Oh, oh! Yes! Look at that fireball! Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Let's do it again, fuck it. Let's do it again, guys. This is so maneuverable, too. Look at me barrel rolling, that's awesome! And it's not even, most planes break apart in this game. If we're being completely honest when you, uh... When you try to pull off maneuvers like this, but not the ME-262. Actually, I don't know if it's the ME-262 or if it's the ME. I don't know, but we're just going to keep shooting at this uh, B-25. Here we go. There's our last two missiles. And absolutely <laughs> annihilated. Oh, that is so fucking awesome, guys. You have no idea. And we got these as well, so we can always just, you know, whoa. Oh, you just always just spray the fuck out of people on the ground. Okay, we crashed into the wall. All right, so we have bigger fish to catch. So I'm actually going to move on up to what should we blow up? I'm thinking a T-Series with a trailer attachment. So uh, let's just, yeah, spawn up the normal one. That's fine. And let's go for the giant truck full of tasty coal. I think this is going to go boom, boom, really, really nice. So... Let's go ahead and connect it. Yeah, I know you got a lock. I know you're just itching to explode this tasty cola, but you have to wait plain. Just be patient, and we'll get some destruction going our way. And connect. You want to connect for me? There we go. Okay. So let's just leave this right here. That's probably good. And uh, actually, you know what? We could get it um, going down the track. I'll wait till we're actually in the air, and we'll make this one a moving target. So, just so it's a little bit more extra drama. You know, before I actually uh, had downloaded this mod, I saw a lot of the reviews and they're like, I thought this was War Thunder when, when I saw this. I was like, am I on the right website? And I can totally, I can totally see that now. At the right angle, this could look very well like War Thunder, especially with a plane like this and uh, heat-seeking missiles. Oh, you, you don't even t talk about it. It is straight up War War Thunder at this point. Maybe even better, you know? This has better physics. Here we go. All right, so I had to get him a little bit of a head start so we could actually get moving here. So where is he? There he goes. He's going. All right, we're good. So let's just go ahead and fire it. I see you down there. Oh! Oh, yeah! 
<laughs> oh, absolutely fucking annihilated. There's just pieces everywhere. Okay, let's go for uh, another shot here. Can we get another lock? That'd be great. Death from above! There we go. Two missiles directly into the Tasty Cola. Oh, beautiful. Let's go ahead and crash land this. Come on. Boo! And we've turned ourselves into a torpedo. Isn't that lovely? So here's what's left of the uh, the T series: cola everywhere, pieces everywhere. Not much left of the trailer. Yeah, that is that is that is one destructive son of a bitch. All right, guys, you know we had to try the Belez out. I feel like this thing is just gonna get blown sky high because this is one explosive ass uh, missiles that are flying into this thing. So I I believe it's gonna. It's gonna really rock this thing's world, but let's just try it anyway and not crash into it, that's for sure. Uh, but let's actually get airborne. I kind of want to try shooting this thing with cannons first, just to see if I can, you know what I mean? If it'll do any damage, I guess. All right, let's try out the cannons here, see if we can get this lined up correctly. Oh, it's coming up quick. Oh, it's coming up quick. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a couple solid hits on that thing. All right, so let's uh, check this thing out. Any damage though? Not really. Okay. Well, I have a backup plan. So let's see if we can actually um, try this out with the heat-seeking missiles. I feel like it's gonna do quite a bit of damage here. Let's go around the other side so we can come in from the front. All right, guys, here we go. Go, 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 go! All of you, go! Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, I, I I knew it was gonna do some damage. I was not expecting to literally blow this thing sky high. That is a fully, fully destroyed Belez. Holy hell! With the heat-seeking missiles, I didn't even talk about. It. Okay, let's let's just fire one into it, into the back of it, and see what happens here. I'm curious. Where's it gonna hit? Oh! That is one powerful missile. Let's just fire all of them here. There we go. Absolutely annihilated. Let's go ahead and reset this. Why the hell not? Just keep firing. Just keep firing. Just keep shooting until there's nothing left. Okay, yeah, it's, it's dead. That is for sure. All right, what left do we actually have to blow up? I don't know. I have, I mean, I have a quite a bit of stuff here, but um, let's see. All right, guys, so waiting before us down on the runway, we have the little Maluk complete with two little dummies inside. So these guys have no idea what is about to hit them. So uh, I kind of, I almost feel bad for them, but then again, I don't. So let's get the lock on here. You know, it might help if I actually have some missiles on. So we have to do that all again. That's fine. Let's just get a nice little flyby here and we will and those little dummies will meet their maker for sure. All right, here we go. We got the lock. So there we go. And yes. Where are you? Oh, I can see. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Let's just try to land this thing. Not gonna happen, but we can try, right? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. We're losing it. Oh, come on, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, wow, look how close we are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go, just fire the missiles. Fire the missiles. Oh. Well, I think we're alive still, so that's good. Let's check on our old buddies here, though. Not doing so good. I see a leg, some body parts. I would just say, let's just say they got completely annihilated. I think this is like a, a tire. Is there any body parts anywhere, though? I don't think so. But yeah, that was absolutely crazy, guys. So yeah, this has been the ME262, or the or the ME262, I'm not really sure. But uh, let's go ahead and fire that again. In slow motion this time. I wanna get every, I wanna see every little explosion here. So here it comes. Get a little bit faster, a little bit faster. There we go. And slow it down. Wow, look at that thing. Holy shit, here it comes. Oh, there it goes. Oh! oh, no. I never actually seen it in slow motion, and there it goes. Straight into the uh, tasty cola. What a way to go out. Anyway, guys, 
Uh, that's gonna about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you're definitely gonna be seeing this thing in some more videos, that is for sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave the link to this mod down below in the description. You should definitely, definitely check it out. Give the, uh, mod creator some credit because this is, this is absolutely mind-blowing. But yeah, that'll about do it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.